Hey everybody, it's Jenny, and today I have my makeup of the week, and I'm back to the Caboodles makeup bag. So like I said, every week I'm going to alternate the bags, um, and I always like to start in order of application of what makeup products I'm going to be using this week. First off, primer, the Smashbox Photo Finish, uh, Photo Finish Foundation Primer, I think it's called the Iconic Primer. This is my favorite HD primer. Um, I'm almost out of it, so it'll probably be in the empty soon, uh, but I have a backup, so yay. And then for color correcting and concealing, uh, this Hey Honey uh, Trick and Treat Cream Concealer. I love this stuff. It is so good. got this in an Etsy, and it's lasted me a while, so a little bit goes a long way. And this is the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover Pro uh, Correcting Palette. I like this. I, I do get some use out of it. Then for foundation, the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Hydrating Foundation. Um, I like this pretty well. Um, I don't know if I would repurchase this product because I want to try some other foundations, but I, I don't hate it. I do like it. Then concealer, you all will know how I feel about the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. It's my HG. I love it. Um, I need to get another tube of it. I actually need to get the full size. Uh, powder, the Cody Airspun powder. I do like this. I don't feel like, feel like I'll ever run out of it because I use so little of it. And then I also uh, pulled the Rimmel Stay Matte, which I'm probably going to throw this in my purse uh, because where it is getting a lot hot, hotter here, um, it's just good to have this in your in your makeup bag or you know when you're on the go. Then for um, bronzing, the Too Faced uh, Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. And yes, it does smell like chocolate. It smells really good. And this is the first time I've, I use this today and I really, really like it. Then I'm also using the Pure Bronze and Brighter Palette. My sister got this in a boxy charm and she did not like it. But I actually am surprised by how much I like this. They look super, super pigmented. But when you put them on a brush, they're not nearly as, um, they're not nearly as harsh as you think they would be. So, I like this. Then I also uh, put a backup blush in case that one was just a little too bright, but it's not really the Ofra Peach Blush. This is a great summertime blush. This is another Ipsy item. And this is, a, I think it's one of their full-size pans. So, again, getting a lot of use out of it. Then for, uh, and, and of course this also had the highlighter that I'm using this week too, so the one in the middle. Then eyebrows, this is another boxy charm that my sister, uh, boxy charm item that my sister gave to me. It's the Brow Gal by Tonya Crooks uh, Tinted Brow Gel. I really, really like this. Then, of course, this is in every single one of them, the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Conceal and Contour. So, Urban Decay Primer Potion. And then I got two makeup palettes. I think these would go really good with each other. The Kat Von D Shade and Light. This is in the Plum. So it looks like there. And then the Tarte uh, Make Believe in Yourself. These are just really, really pretty shades. Like, I love this, this fairy shade. Love it. And for eyeliners, the CoverGirl Perfect Point Plus. And then the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. And mascaras. Uh, I'm using again the Stila Lash Primer. This stuff's amazing. And then the Benefit Roller Lash. So that's all my makeup of the week for this week. Let me know what items you're using this week. Um, any of my items that you like, do you not like, let me know. And leave comments down below. Give me a big thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And with that, have a fabulous day. Bye.